Canadian and welcome to This Week in Canadian EdTech Special Edition. I'm honored to have join me for a Mindshare Learning Moment, Jennifer Cassett Todd, teacher librarian, on ed scholar, mentor, and author of Social Media Moving Students from Digital Citizenship to Digital Leadership. She is passionate about showing teachers and students how they can use technology and social media to make the world a better place. And she has a book coming out this summer, I just learned as well. Thank you for joining me in these challenging times, Jennifer. Thank you so much for having me, Robert. It's always a pleasure to see you. Likewise, and I know you're very busy now gearing up for back to school in a different format, virtually. Mm -hmm. uh, how are things, first of all, how are you doing and how's your family, hopefully healthy? We are healthy. Um, we've been taking the social physical distancing thing very seriously. So we've been home today. We've realized was day 20. Wow. Um, and trying, yeah, trying hard and just to FaceTime my aunt and family. We had a family birthday and we did it via FaceTime. The four of us we delivered cupcakes to everybody's door. And then nice. we all got online at the same time so we could have cake together. Um, you know what? We're doing the best that we can. Um, the other day, the girls drove around so they could scream just out of frustration. <laughs> Close quarters. You need an but outlet. You know what? Yeah, but you know what? We've been playing cards and playing games and, you know, just it's been really, really, really wonderful to see what my kids are interested in, like to have that. Fantastic. Before this week. <laughs> this yeah. week has been kind of cool with work, right? The, the reality is when you're working from home um, and then, you know, parenting, it's very, very challenging. So we're very lucky we have been so far. Excellent. Yeah, it's it's I equated it to the other day in a conversation with another colleague was a hard reset and we're redefining our priorities, rediscovering quality time with the family. And it's like, you know, you know, backtracking, you know, 40 years ago in the 70s when th life was so much slower, you know, uh, and it's been great that way. And it, it's a great opportunity for us to you know, kind of clean the house in a way. Um, and, and like I said, redefine the priorities. Uh, have you found that as well? And connecting with uh, yeah. family and friends and that you haven't been in touch with? For sure. Although, you know me, like my message has always been use technology and social mm -hmm. media to make meaningful connections. And right. I, I feel like it we're so much better off i can't remember who we were talking uh, having this conversation with but we're so much better off right now we're so much better equipped to be socially isolating right now because right. we can continue to connect with family and friends because we have all this technology at our at our fingertips really um so for me it's been really exciting um to see people who maybe would have never tried to do video chatting with someone or to see the authors and the celebrities and the artists and the personal trainers that are going online now to share some of their talents and people aren't as afraid to try it because we're just trying to do the best that we can so you know teaching talking to teachers you know even last year about the opportunities that technology and social media afford us sometimes a tough sell um i think right. it's going to be a very different conversation when we come yeah. back absolutely it's never been a more transformational period and opportunity for us to innovate and you know where there's you know necessities the mother of invention to use that cliche and we've seen a lot of great examples and it's about courageous leadership and uh and you've really stepped up your game i love the social media sharing and and the you know, youtube live uh, schedule that you've put out there is a you know that's a teacher librarian than you for sure some great resources and and the human spirit is is you know rising to the top isn't it Yes. Well, thank you, uh, Robert. The, um, the daily connections to which you refer, it was um, really just trying to, I have a, as you know, I have a parenting book coming out this summer. It's called Raising Digital Leaders. And I really wanted to provide a support to the parent friends that I have who are like, Where, what do I do? Like I have this all this time and there's always that conversation about managing screen time. And, and my emphasis has always been that screen time is a 
about quality, not quantity as much, right? Absolutely. So now is the time where you can really engage your kids in meaningful ways on a screen. So my daily connections just started. I thought, oh, let me try this. I saw all these opportunities. I put it out. And, and honestly, it's been the reason I wake up in the morning. Like I wake up every morning at 7 a.m. I have my coffee. I scour the internet for opportunities for parents and kids and teens. And I put it out before nine and or by nine, at least, depending on the day when our dog wakes us up. And that it's just been wonderful. And the other thing that our family has been doing is we've been hosting a, a Tuesday night trivia. And uh, that started yeah. with my husband going, oh, we could go to trivia. And then realizing that, of course, we weren't allowed to go to our favorite place to play trivia. So we make up questions and get online. It's been amazing to see people from different states connecting on the same team or all across the country. Friends awesome. and PLN members. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun for sure. So let's look forward to Monday. What is Monday going to look like for uh, the students in, uh, in your school? as you prepare virtually? I don't know. <laughs> so um, I think the ministry, I think we're holding off to see what the ministry of education, we're being very careful, I think all the boards are, right? Um, to, to make sure that we are in line with what it is that they're suggesting that we do. Um, for me, I know what the teacher librarians and I in our board uh, at York Catholic have been working very hard behind the scenes to curate resources that are available to teachers because there are going to be teachers and students who don't have their textbooks anymore or you know, don't have those learning resources. Uh, we're looking at ways to provide um, technology to kids who don't have yeah. it and that's something that's come from the board uh, from the ministry as well. So for my part, um, you know, I co-plan, co-teach and co-assess with teachers. I've still offered to do that. Um, so that'll happen beginning next week sometime. And I'm just going to keep, keep building resources and building a website for them right now um, and, and just doing what I can to support my teachers. And then what that is going to look like in terms of each individual subject is really going to depend. Mm. You know, teaching and learning looks so different. Everyone's uh, comfort level with using technology is different. I've shown them how to use, uh, how to create cre screencasts for those teachers who want to create cool. a video and have yeah. conversations in different ways. You know, we, we have really great resources around Google Meet um, and how to, to connect that way with our kids. I think the most important thing I think at our idea is as we start off our school on Monday will be continue to foster those relationships and those connections with our kids. Because we know that the kids, I know my kids are really struggling with missing their mm -hmm. friends and missing the social aspects that school provides, right? It, it, absolutely. I mean, you know, I closed up my co-working innovation center, so I'm co-working at home with my three kids and my wife. And you can hear a pin drop because they're all older and everyone's, you know, my kids are junior accountants, my twins, so they're working away on busy season. My daughter's finishing third year university online and my wife's working with the city and it were like, I can't imagine what it's like for a household with three young kids and, and parents that are teachers. Like I, I, you know, so we're fortunate that our kids are older, but it's, it's going to be a challenge. Obviously structures necessary, but you got to get the kids outside and you got to get them expending energy as well. Yeah, it's, uh, I think that what you said is really important, this idea of schedule, um, being gentle with yourself, knowing that this mm -hmm. is a new learning curve, recognizing that we don't have to be online with the kids all the time. Mm -hmm. um, someone also said this idea, I can't remember where it came from though, so I hate to not be able to cite my source effectively, but yeah. to think about it in terms, I think it was John Spencer, think of it in terms of a week, right? So what do you want mm -hmm. your kids to know and understand by the end of the week and not worry about, you know, the day to day. And that might uh, alleviate some of the pressure. Right. Um, positivity. You're an extremely positive and inspiring leader. How do we nurture that? Because these are really trying times and it's testing my mettle as well. I know. 
really. Um, I just wrote a blog post called Darkness and Light. And I, honestly, we could get completely engulfed in the darkness. Um, but the way I am staying positive is we go for a walk every day. And whether it's, well, we have a dog, so we don't have a choice. Um, and I really try to take notes, what you said about 40 years ago, right? Really take note of the beautiful things that are mm -hmm. happening. Um, we as a family try to do something kind for someone else every day. Nice. Um, and I think that really helps, you know, like we created a community library with the books that we had upstairs from when the kids awesome. were young. Um, you know, like just every day we try to make a meal for somebody or go and shop for somebody or just do something. Um, and I think that really helps. And I think that, um, doing what we're doing now, connecting online, like I, I make an, I make a point of, uh, you know, FaceTiming with my mom and my aunt every day, um, just to be able to reassure them and reassure myself that I am loved that, you know, that we can still, uh, be with one another and foster relationships without physically being in each other's company. Thank you, Jennifer, for that. So inspiring and um, always enlightening to connect with you. Remind me when that book, the name of the book and when it's coming out and how they can find it. Your website. Well, two. Yeah, I have two books, actually. I didn't two books you, coming. Book. That's right. That yes. would be your third, um, second and third. So yeah, so Raising Digital Leaders is the parent companion to social media, and that is being published by DVC and I think July or August. Um, and then if you go to my website where my daily connections are, um, jcassettpod.com slash parenting, um, you could subscribe there. You could check out my daily connections and then you can subscribe there and I'll let you know when it comes out. And then I was fortunate to be able to co-author a book with Lee Castle, who I know you know well. Of course. Um, just a dear, dear friend of mine. Uh, we've had this dream to co-author a book together. And then we met one of my former students who's a brilliant, brilliant artist. Um, wow. And it all, the stars aligned and we came together and we spent, we spent a long time. You think like children's book is easy. It is not easy. Um, really? But we are so blessed. We are so blessed that Edgy Match Publishing it has picked that up. And that will be published in July. So you can look for that on my website. I'll and the sharing. name of that title is? That one is called, so we want it to be a series. It's called mm -hmm. Aubrey Bright Stories That Connect Us. And it's about a young girl and her connection with uh, technology and uh, looking at the idea of balance. And it's about her relationship with her grandma. Wonderful. So yeah. relevant to today's uh, okay. situation that we're facing. With that, I thank you again, Jennifer. Thank you, Robert. Always a pleasure. That was Jennifer Cassatod, learner, leader, mom, author, and uh, three books now coming soon. And be sure to check out www.mindsharelearning.com to get your latest issue of the Mindshare Learning Report. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep the learning curve steep.